All right, as you can see, we've got a box. Haha. -ha. Okay, right off the bat on top here, we can see that we have the ECS driver CD, which has all the drivers to get your motherboard up and going. Box up some more. Motherboard, and then all the rest of the things in the bottom here. So let's just show you all the box content first, shall we? Then we'll move on to the motherboard. So, what we've got, we've got the rear I.O. Nice fanciful little black colored thing there, look pretty. We've got four of your standard SATA cables. We have the manual itself. And a quick guide installation thing. I'm not going to waste your time with opening it up and showing you all that because a lot of you stated it bores you. But it, here it is. So these things come in the box. This is your content beyond the board itself. Now we're going to move on to the board itself. It comes in a nice anti-static bag. And it also does come with a nice foam package on the back to keep you from cutting your hands or ripping the bags from the back of the components where they've been soldered onto the board. So... Here we go. We'll set the motherboard down. We'll start off. We'll start off right here with the memory. We have four channels that support dual DDR up to 1800 in an overclock mode. Then we've got the 24 pin power. We've got the ZIF socket. Now, this ZIF socket I want to really talk about because around here, if you're going to be trying to use any kind of aftermarket thing, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> this is very close. Cameron, you can come in close. I'm going to angle the board here. Anything you put in it's going to be bigger is going to be either running into this heat sink or it's going to be coming over the memory things. So I think you're strictly going to have to use pretty much standard market things on that, which isn't that good. Now, a positive thing is though, is right above that though, you've got a really nice cooling thing here. This covers both of your, of your bridges on your motherboard and has a heat pipe running through it to keep it running well. Behind this though, you see there's an eight pin power connector for going back here. This is gonna be a little bit awkward, but it may work. Over here, if you don't wanna use that connector, you have your standard power that uses the old school power supply connector just to stick right in there. It'll do the same thing, so you have a choice, okay? Then we're gonna spin the motherboard around. As you can see here, we've got three separate PCIe slots here. So this motherboard will support uh, all of the crossfire modes for motherboards. We've also got to say standard PCI slot for any of your old school video cards, excuse me, not video cards, but like sound cards and other discrete cards. And then we have two PCI 1X displays here so that you can use some of the newer cards, such as I've stated before, like USB 3.0 or SATA 3.0. Yes, people, these new slots actually do have components now. So we have a nice little heat sink over here as well. Keeps the board running cool. Uh, let me get up here. I don't know if the camera can see us with the light or not, but we also have a reset button and a power button located right on the board. So for those people who are doing overclocking and stuff, this is a pretty good feature because all you got to do is just click on to there. You also have a bunch of external USB ports if you want to hook those up as well. So if you need a lot of USB, you've got it, baby. Spin around over here. You can see that we have five uh, SATA 3 ports. You get one through four right here, and SATA port five is off here to the side. So we'll spin around, we'll take a look at the rear I.O. This is a really pretty fleshed out rear I.O. here. You have DVI, you have VGA, you have DisplayPort, and an HDMI connection. You also get two USB ports via the red slot, which is right here, and an eSATA slot. Then you also get an additional four USB slots and dual gigabyte LAN. The sound on here has SPDIF support and 7.1 standard analog audio. So this is a pretty good board. The setup's pretty good. It's got some great features. You guys can see everything else in the actual video of the review. This is just the unboxing. Thanks for watching.